Hey guys, so we have some new fresh rumors here about iPad 3 coming from uh, iLaunch uh, Twitter account, uh, this guy called Jeremy Horwitz, uh, no not Hor, but Horwitz, that's his you know, name there uh, at the end. So um, the iPad 3, the iPad 2 got launched almost a year ago now, okay, it's January, it's, it's around one to two months away. I think uh, before we're gonna see the iPad 3 and uh, so what, what are we gonna see okay um, so we do know that a lot of people expected on the iPad 2 to get the retina display but you know that didn't happen uh, and that that probably didn't happen because uh, you know usually Apple you know uh, just update some things and uh, you know not everything at the same time uh, and we do know that the iPhone 4 got the Retina display in 2010, uh, and we know that the first iPad got launched that year, so probably wouldn't have Retina already. Uh, but now when they have done that research and everything, uh, I think we're gonna see a Retina display on the iPad 3. Uh, and also, you know, we're seeing all of these other tablets from other manufacturers that's kind of gonna come out with this you know, kind of like huge resolution. Um, so the re resolution that we can kind of expect is like a retina display, as we have on the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 4A, uh, maybe a 2048 times 1536 resolution. Uh, and also, you know, obviously this is gonna take like more processing power and everything because you're gonna have like four times, or I'm sure, but it's gonna be a ton of more pixels uh, so a new processor as well is it gonna be called a6 a5 no we already have the a5 um, so I'm not sure what we're gonna see uh, but could be the a6 yes could it be the a6 could it be a quad core I'm not sure but that that sounds insane that sounds bananas uh, and also a better camera kind of like the same sensors we're seeing in the iPhone 4s and I mean you know if you, if you just look at this year uh, we saw that iPad got the a5 processor first so this year uh, we're probably gonna see the iPad getting you know the updated processor first and then the, they're gonna make a smaller version for the new iPhone 5 or iPhone 6 or whatever they're now gonna call it, iPhone 4SD, iPhone 4S Pro, no, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so uh, the big things, faster processor, uh, bigger or high resolution, and uh, there are also rumors here that we're gonna see a FaceTime HD camera on the front as well, so those are the, you know, the things, uh, and also it seems like it could be a little thicker, just because maybe a better battery or something like that, uh, to 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 you know power the better processor, so they will have kind of like the same battery, uh, battery time uh, and everything. So that uh, is the things that you can go ahead and expect. But you know, uh, it's gonna take a couple of months before we're gonna see this bad boy out on the market. I think so. Yeah, stay tuned for more updates. Also, we can you know obviously see a price cut on the iPad too. Um, we're probably gonna see that, but you know, not gonna be a lot of money because they're probably gonna just cut it down 50, 100 bucks or something like that. So people will, will you know, hey, why should I buy the iPad 2 when I could buy the iPad 3 for you know, just 100 bucks more, 50 bucks more? Uh, but yeah, that's awesome. See you.